Miss, the first person who can answer this, this is an easy one too. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm about to give away this Porsche 911 so easily. Uh, no, it's no Porsche, we're giving away. The first person that can answer this question will go over to the NJPAC Arts Education table and April will give you something, I don't know what's over there. There's a famous musician, hails from Washington, D.C. He held a residency in Harlem at a famous jazz club there with a big band. Who am I thinking about? Not Louis Armstrong. Okay, I'll give you a little more information. The name of his original band was called the Washingtonians. I see a hand in the back with the Frisbee. What's the name? Andy Warhol? No, he was not a musician. He was a great artist, though. Someone said, who was it? Duke Ellington. You can go over to the arts education table and register for our summer programs and we'll, no, I don't know, April will give you something over there. But absolutely, the great Duke Ellington, and the band was the Duke Ellington Orchestra. He first, because he hailed from Washington, D.C., the band was called the Ellingtonians. But once he moved to New York City and he held residency at the great Cotton Club of Duke Ellington with one of his compositions that we'll play next for you, this is entitled Flirty Bird. And on this one, we're going to play bonga. See, I didn't even know. Just testing y'all, see if you got your set list in order. This is one we're going to feature on this one. We're going to feature once again Nick Schneider. Enjoy.
Nick Schneider on the keyboards. And what's so hip about these musicians behind me? They didn't know I was going to do this. This is what we call in jazz an audible. Meaning that they do not have music for what's about to happen. But that's why they are the James Moody Jazz Orchestra. James Moody, I had the pr privilege of working